Hi fellow traders, what's happening? I hope you guys had a great day today. And man, these last couple of weeks, it's been sunshine and rainbows. Now, I haven't traded the, the best, but when I got myself back on track, when I got my, my focus back, uh, it's just been killer. You know, and, and it, it kind of made me think about the saying, you know, if you want the rainbow, you're going to have to stand a little rain. And, you know, we stood in the rain for a long time, for weeks. We had to withstand that rain just to get to this point. And it was well worth it. I mean, it was well worth it. And, you know, and like when it was raining on us, there were people where they stood, it wasn't raining. You know, they had clear, clear sailing. And now, you know, it's clear for us, but it's raining on them. And, and they're having, you know, to deal with that. So it, and that's just the way this thing is. It's just like going through these isolated storms. Like, I could leave my house and it could be pouring down rain. It could be flooding. I get a mile down the road and the sun is out. And then, you know, coming back home. I run into this bad weather and then a, a mile later when I get home it's sunshiny and and I see the rainbow I mean and that's just the way it is we it just depends on where we are as to when and where how and if we get that that weather so we withstood it and you know, we're reaping the, the benefits right now. It's really, really good. Um, a couple of people I've talked to, you know, they're saying this recovery is like trading back in the dot-com boom, you know, back in 99. And I, I didn't know anything about it. I know I just opened my account up back then. But I had no clue of, you know, what was going on. I wasn't in any circle. Um, but they're saying... You know, you could you could cover your eyes and just throw a dart at the wall and it will land on a bullseye. It's like that's just how it was back then. And they're starting to feel it now because, you know, these guys that have the trade the same names every day, the same um, big dollar tickers. I mean, it's, it's like a field day for them. You know, we. We look for different stocks every day, and a lot of times we come up with the same names. It's, it's like the same names are moving every day. But, you know, that's fine. We know the pulse, we know the rhythm, and, you know, we can dance. But it, it's, I all I can say is this is it's an extraordinary time in the market. And it's been that way for the last couple of months. But now it's extraordinarily positive. And so we're, we're we're just loving it. Um, as you can see today, now this this weekend, now yesterday we were talking about this um, 320 uh, level right here, this 320 73 level, and it was significant to me because of you know what I saw back here. Now this is the line in the sand that I've drawn. And I'm like, you know, nothing back here really concerns me. Um, but it kind of only if it lines up with something else. And the only thing it lined up with was this wicked candle right here. But I felt that this 320 was a line in the sand that if we claimed and, and um, held, there's no more resistance back up to all-time high. So, if we we can really get going. We can really get going here. And and no, it just because you know we've been going up for the last um, seven eight days doesn't mean we got to come back. It doesn't mean that at all. Now we may get a, you know a um. A rest day in here somewhere on the way up 
but th this is just incredible you know what this market is doing the strength that it's showing uh, it, it's just it's just incredible um, but not all stocks are going up now there, there are some that that are failing uh, we'll look at a couple from our, our our swing watch list here you can see this is BYND you know we had this on our swing watch list and and there was a good number of people in the community that actually took this trade and you know our our um plan was that it opens and you know our, our target would be 160 and everybody everybody that took the trade in the community is out now it hit the target it hit their targets it was out you know um, we said 150 would have been a good first stop you know we we're running into the highs you know from the last bounce over here and you know 150 would have been a good target and you know 155 and then 160 and you know some didn't have enough shares to trade that way they got 150 and then they were out um, some made it to 150 and 155 then the rest made it the whole way but really really strong move here really strong move and and we traded this today they traded this today and I'll cover that here in a second but I'm just showing you kind of the tale of two um, the tale of two trades here or the tale of, of two stocks um, so we had uh, CVNA on our um, swing watch as well. And this was my number one watch for oversold. I mean, 52-week uh, high. And it opened right where we wanted it to. And it immediately started selling off. And you could look at what it did today. I mean, this thing unwound. When the market was so strong and every everything was pushing, this thing practically unwound on itself. And you know, I was thinking I wasn't here at the open. I, I had to do labs, and then I'm not going to be here at the open tomorrow. I've got an 8:30 um, doctor's appointment to go to, but I know that if I was here at the open, I probably would have taken this trade. Um, but I was driving down the highway on the way home when when the market opened. But this was, you know, so everything is is not perfect. So you do have to take your time. You do have to, you know, kind of stick to your rules, and and let things play out. So let's take a look at what we did today. Um, so my first trade. Like I said, I wasn't here for the open, so I was waiting to catch secondary moves. And now that I look at this thing, I was just completely, it, it was just bad. It, it was just a bad entry, but that's not why the trade failed. Um, I still would have made some money on this had it done what I expected it to do. But... It's like almost to the minute that I got in this trade, some news dropped, some positive news on this stock dropped, and you can see what it did. It brought it all the way back. Um, I know this looks like a big window, but really my entry on this was going to be, you know, right up in here, which was right around 57. But I got in at um, uh, 56.81. So I was only like 20 cents away from here. I know it looks like, but that's just the scale of the chart. So I was only 20 cents away from my entry. And I had a nice window down to, you know, be able to take some profit here. But that news that came out, you can't predict it or anything like that it, it it just happens and that kind of ruined this trade so 
you know, I'm not going to let it defeat me. We have to take a, a loss. Every trade is not going to be a winner. You can have a clean setup. You can be doing things perfectly. And what happened today could happen to you at that point too. News comes out, something happens, and it turns the stock the other way. All right, so we moved on from that, and we locked on to BYND. Now, this thing traded strong all morning long. Nice opening range breakout. Um, we pulled back here, and we held a 9. All right, so once it broke the high, once it geared up and broke the high, that was my entry. We took out the top of this channel here. And once we confirmed it, I got in and just started taking profit along the way. Uh, finished up here at 150. That was my target, final target. We pulled back and I couldn't get back in. This candle just rocketed. It was a rocket ship. So I had to wait for it to kind of settle again. So we we pulled back and you know we were holding the nine here. So took another entry, started taking profit along the way. Um, had another little pullback here and just kept taking profit. And my final target was this um 158.20 level. I probably should have used the same target that I was going to have on my swing, 160, because eventually this thing ran up to 162. Um, I lost my mouse. Yeah. Eventually this ran up to 162. But I was done. Um, you know, after this trade, I was like, look, I'm not going to, f you know, push it. I'm going to lock in this morning. And... And I'll be done with it. So ended up today on um, 102863. Finally. Finally back to the thousand dollar days. I'm really, really happy about that. You can see on this one on BYND, we locked in thirteen hundred bucks. You know, so if it wasn't for the MRNA loss, this would have been an even better day. And really, if I had caught this bounce off, you know, and I could have bought it over 158.20, I could have bought it on the break here and got another four, four and a half points on this. So the market is on fire. You just have to be in the in the right on the right playing field, and, and that's what we look to do every morning. We build our watch list, try to put ourselves on the right playing field so that we can take advantage of these opportunities. I'm really, really solid. I'm really happy with the focus that I've had the last couple of weeks. And, you know, I don't plan to change that. You know, I'm always going to kind of lose it a little bit because I'm trying to help people. Um, but I just... I stopped answering uh, emails. I already didn't look at social media until, you know, I don't start looking at that until lunchtime. Um, I start limiting my, you know, answering PMs during the, the peak trading times. Just trying to focus because that benefits you guys just as much as it benefits me for for me to be focused on what I'm supposed to be doing so I'm I'm pretty happy how that's going and you know can't wait till tomorrow you know, I, I have I, I have problems getting overly excited so I'm trying to keep calm and wait for tomorrow and see if we can have another one of these good days you know won't be here for the morning but I'll definitely be back, you know, no later than 10 o'clock, just like today. And see if we can make a carbon copy of the day. So you guys have a great, great uh, night, great evening. And I will catch you in the morning.